nothing better than a nice and wool and a free shower. Let's go do this because it's going to rain for the next three days. I have to work over there. You gotta move. Go to your couch, please. Cocoa, you too. Go to the couch. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, sweet friend, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Mariana, and I am so grateful that you are here with me today. Here in New Jersey, it's pouring cats and dogs. It hasn't stopped raining, but we're not going to let the rain stop our projects, particularly if we can make them in under $40. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you consider subscribing to this channel and leaving a comment down below if you are a DIYer or if you're just here for pure motivation and entertainment. myself taking down the molding in many years to come as you know I'm little by little trying to restore my old home so I will be using liquid nails however if you are a DIYer and you're planning to perhaps change styles every two three years I suggest you don't use this I suggest only use the nail gun and that'll do it but I'm going to be doing this because honestly, I don't really foresee making any changes here. So I'm going to apply this and then I'm going to go in with the nail gun. Perhaps in your home, you do not need to add this footer here, but I needed something that it was going to create a seamless transition between the lateral wood and the bottom one. And because the border on the bottom wasn't thick enough then i needed to add something that will transition the upper part with no problems and this is why i'm adding this piece that it costed almost eight dollars this is a uh, 92 inches long and you pay by the foot versus the pieces of wood that I'm using to create the lateral uh, board and button. Those cost me around $2.54. I will be putting the exact measurements and the price uh, in the description down below. And again, I got all this from Home Depot. One tip that I have for you is that every time you get a piece of wood, you always have to trim a little bit of one of the edges. And the reason for that is because Home Depot or any other lumber company, they don't cut the pieces of wood evenly. So you want to make sure that when you're measuring one size, it's at a 90 degrees angle. And that's why you'll see me that I always trim a little bit from one of the corners and then I measure and cut and always measure twice and cut once. Although I must be honest with you, I am terrible at measuring. We'll be cutting seven pieces and the length it's going to be five feet long.
tell. I'm not sure if you could tell, but I'm hiding this part. This and this. That's why it's gonna go on that corner over there. Because this wood is so cheap, some of the pieces weren't perfect. And unfortunately, this Home Depot only has 12 pieces left. And it, it, it was raining today. And as you saw in the introduction of the video, while I was putting these pieces of wood in the car, I got soaked. And that's how much it was raining. It was literally a free shower. And again, because the pieces are so cheap, you will have to perhaps sort them out, pick your best, spend a little bit of time at Home Depot. I didn't have that chance. There were only 12 left. I wanted to bring home 10 just in case if I made a mistake cutting them. But again, take your time when you're shopping with them. Sometimes when things are a little low in cost, it just requires for you to look a little bit more carefully. Now, it worked out perfectly because I used them for the two ends and this is how I'm starting. First, I wanna make sure that I have the two sides on the wall first and then I am measuring in the middle and then I'm gonna work from the middle to my right and then to my left and there is no real formula here that I can share with you once I had the two pieces of wood to the right corner and to the left corner I measured the middle I attached the middle and then I measure from the middle to the right and it actually worked out perfectly because each piece of wood it separated into 12 inches that it just happened miraculously and it's even I did had in my mind that I wanted either seven uh, pieces of wood or eight I for some reason I didn't want less than that it was just how I envisioned it in my mind and it worked out perfectly now if you could get yourself if you are looking to invest money in a tool and it's your first tool can I just tell you that I absolutely love my nail gun it is the greatest investment ever and I promise you you won't regret it this video is not sponsored I do love Ryobi the brand it is affordable it is a good brand to start with my son Matthew helping me measuring the one piece of wood that's gonna go on the top I really didn't want to mess it up and although I know the measurement is 92 inches because the house is old sometime it could be 92 and a half or 91 and 5 eighths so I wanted to make sure I get the right measurement Matthew came in and lent me a hand to make sure that I measure everything correctly this piece that I'm placing on top, first of all, I want to share with you that I ran out of the liquid nail and because I didn't have anything else but caulking, I just attached it with the caulking and then I went in with the nail gun. But this piece here, perhaps you also don't want it. I wanted this piece here because this room during Christmas 
it comes to life in my own humble way and I just love it and I wanted this little shelf this measure I believe just one inches is the width of this uh, top piece that I put over here but I feel that I can add pictures there or perhaps I can even put little or candles or even a mirror I don't know I just wanted to have this little shelf here in case later on I wanted to decorate it now this this is the most tedious part of this project, but it does make a difference and it is to caulk everything. And I also did not have wood filler and guess what? I used the caulking and sometimes you just have to do with what you have. The wood filler is to cover the nails from the nail guns. That's what you will use the wood filler. But again, instead I and use the, the caulking over there so in case you didn't know how to change this you press this handle right here and this is going to release and then you can take this out from here and to put the other one on your handle there's a hole here and you'll put this in here and you squeeze you pull, mine it's a little old, and it's open. Now you place it back in here, and this is the one I'm using now. You place it here. Sorry, just pull this down. Place it here. Now press, push here, press this, push. And now you squeeze a couple of times. Whoop! And there it is. And I'm gonna finish that section over there. And I'm done cooking. And to close it, if you have any left, all you need is a nail. This one was a little too big, so I really have to squeeze it in. But that's all you will need. You put a nail in here and the rest won't dry and it'll be ready for you to use next time. Ideally, it is recommended that you send this wood and the caulking and you even that out or the wood filler however i did not have the appropriate sanding paper for my sanding machine and all i had at the time was just sandpaper so i manually went around and i concentrated to making sure there were no splinters sticking out or trying to even out the caulking so at least I can have a, a semi smooth surface. The color that I'm using, it's called Breeze Away by Bear, and it is the same color all throughout my first floor. The reason I love this color so much, it's because colors brings you energy and this color the energy that brings me is tranquility is peace and it also reminds me of the ocean and i absolutely love this color and here's my reality i am not a professional i am just a person that is trying to create a cozy home trying to restore my old home as much as i can and honestly what i enjoy the most about every single diy that i make is that i discover something new about myself and i think that it's just priceless and one of the things the mantras that i believe for this this community here on MVP on the go is that you are valuable and that you have within you the power, the creativity and the ability to create great things. And sometimes because we think we need all the, the right tools and the right paint and the right equipment and if we are missing something we cannot complete a project and then what we go into a big brain freeze and we get stuck and we don't accomplish anything but most importantly we don't discover the beauty that resides and abides within us so if you still hear 
First of all, thank you so much for being here until the end. We are almost done. We're about to start painting. But second of all, just know that you are amazing and that whatever you are right now, whatever you're watching me from, with what you have, you could do wonderful things. To make the wall even longer, I also ended up painting the bottom baseboard, which gives you the illusion that the wall is much taller than what it is. And can I just tell you, this room right now, I cannot stop looking at it because I am so impressed about myself. This is the second accent wall that I, I am making in my home. And every single time I make something, I learned. And I don't know, there's something so satisfying about that. Friend, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you could come every Every Sunday and visit my home. Sometimes we're cooking, doing laundry and mundane chores and other times we are doing frugal DIY. Until I see you again, I am sending over a big, big hug. See you, my friend. Bye. something meaningful say something i don't know i wanna know you better